Y'all, y'all, I really want to give y'all a really good review tonight about some things, but it's one of them nights, man. I'm not really feeling, like, I'm feeling, I'm, the, the way I'm feeling now is, like, like, if I, if I was to, like, pretty much give you a, bam, a review like I'm going to give you tonight, then I'm going to be excited like I want you to be excited. Find a real deep cool, get ready to give it to you, baby. There's no other way for me to give it to you than to give it to you straight, give it to you raw, give it to you real rich. Real deep cool. That's how you do it. Bars. Let's go. Why am I saying bars? I'm supposed to stop saying bars, man. Ever since Kevin Hart put on the dress of saying that live, I was coming off that bandwagon. But bars, when he was being real, he was doing chocolate dropper. I'm going to hang on to that. You know, his last bastion of, of, of funniness that he had. One of the funniest things he had going on was chocolate dropper. And then he went corporate for the industry. And now he on some other, I don't know what he on. But anyway... Bars. Off the top of the dome, let's go and get down on these fragrances. Let's get down on these two. I wore both two days this week because I need to re examine, rediscover, re emphasize with exuberance, with excitement, with, with enthusiasm. I just needed to do this all over again for these fragrances. And let's just sit up there. One I tried to sell, in fact, both of these I tried to sell. Both of these were on the chopping blocks out of the cage. So I gave him another chance. Because everybody and everything deserves another chance. You feeling me? Feel it. Let's go. Before we get started, what time is it? It's Seiko 5 Great Face Time. Automatic holler at your boy with that slim link to match the bracelet. Pat out on the other arm. We just going to fall back with the big link. Holla at your boy. Little silver holla at your boy right there. Brush silver mixed with some polished silver. And we're going to lay that dog on right there. That block right there with the with the, with the the inscriptograms on, on the edges right there. Whatever that is. Y'all know what that is. Holla at your boy. Let's go. Let's start with what I wore today. Okay. Can't believe it's got a little dust on it. But it wasn't this. Uh-uh. 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 I wore this today and I wore it yesterday. Jizhoff Najaf before it went to Zanzibar, which is the same flavor. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you don't know, then you need to know. Because now I am now back to being a believer. When I first bought this, I bought it because I just wanted to have it in the collection. But no longer. This bad boy got sprayed, and boy did it get sprayed for two good days. So I sprayed it last night. Was it yesterday? No, I sprayed it yesterday. Actually, I sprayed the night before. I wore it to bed. I just put a little double dab on each hand, and I was like, how does it smell? And then I sprayed, uh, I sprayed a uh, Zajaf, Zajaf, yeah, Zajaf, I don't know, whatever the other one is. Zafar, Zafar. I sprayed Zafar and I sprayed this. Well, Zafar did not work out too well. I was like, oh no, I don't like that. Uh -huh. But the job is, yeah, it smelled pretty good. So let's go over the notes in the Zanzibar Blue and the Joff, okay? Zanzibar Blue. That's the name of a club here in Philly where it used to be Zanzibar Blue. All right? Zanzibar and the Joff by Jizhoff. Let's go. It features Argo Wood. Which is oud and boy, when you first smell this, when you first spray it, man, the oud is there. You can't get no more Arabian oud than this. This is Arabian oud hollering at your throat bar. Coming at you, baby. Coming down through your nose cavity, right down through the back, down into your throat juice, down around the neck. That's what it's doing. Now, let me tell you the secret with this I found out. You can't go over spraying this. You can't do it. If you over spray it, you're going to ruin it. Don't over spray this. Four piece. Two sides, front and back. Boom, bam. Top of the hand, top of the hand for wafting. You're good to go with this. That's all you need. I think what I was doing was I was over spraying it because I was just a little bit exuberant about it because it wasn't a job. It wasn't oud juice. But no, you don't have to spray that much. If you spray too much, 
it's, it's, first of all, it's going to take too long for the oud to dry down. And you don't want that oud to take too long to dry down because if it does, it's just going to be the longer it takes for this to get to the really, really good part, which is the vanilla taco bean and the musk. Now, in between, one of my favorite flavors, y'all guys know, is patchouli and sandalwood. Speaking of patchouli and sandalwood, I got uh, some samples of, uh, well, I had a sample of sandalwood from uh, Bond, New York, and I have a patchouli sample. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Anyway, because I'll wear that tomorrow for testing. Man, when this dries down, like right here, this is a fresh yamin. The oud is going down. Even though I already had some on this hand earlier, I resprayed for this review. Goes down. It says green notes, osmanthus, cedar, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, taco bean, and tobacco, and musk. Now, when it's at this stage right here, I smell sandalwood, vanilla, and a little slight, maybe cedar. That's what I smell. Now, others say they smell oud, they smell the osmanthus and the sandalwood, then the tobacco, uh, uh, the patchouli, musk, cedar, then the tonka bean, the vanilla, and the green notes come in later, which is true because it ends on the tonka bean and the vanilla. It ends there with a little bit of cedar wood. You still smell the cedar wood, no doubt about it. But you don't, you don't smell that cedar wood on the first hit. Right here, right now, right here. Ooh, sandalwood. And maybe that osmanthus, which is exactly what it says the top notes are. That's what you smell. And boy, you know I like that sandalwood. This has risen to the top of my ooh sense with Geodraw. Because a friend of mine asked me the other night, he was like, okay, man, best two out of the ooh stars line. And I was like, Forest and Alcott, no longer, no longer. Alcott and the Jop, Zanzibar. I'm telling you, get past the ooh. See, it's almost like remember now. If you guys, if you've never had uh, APLS, APLS by uh, by uh, Francis Kirk John, which is an absolute pour les soir, It's the same thing. It's on the same vibe. I got rid of pour les soir because I couldn't find it. Like it's too much. There was just too much civet in it. And the civet took too long to die down. That's why I had to get rid of it. But it was a good scent. But for me, knowing how I roll, I couldn't deal with it. So I got rid of uh, APLS. This is the same thing. But see, if you don't spray too much, this won't take too long to dry down. And you'll get to the good stuff. Which is the sandalwood, a little bit of tobacco, that cedar. Man, I'm trying to tell you, you got to get it. This is no longer for sale. It's not going to be for sale. In fact, this has etched up into my top 15. This is into my top 15. It wasn't even in my top 20. Summertime, you can't wear it. There's another time I wore this. I wore this in the summertime. Winter time. Winter time is when you want to get down with this mostly. Maybe spring, fall, chilly, chilly, chilly. Now, let me tell you something real quick. I was just uh, coming in today, or tonight, and I was on my way out, and a piece of guy saw me down in the lobby. And I was walking out, he's like, yo, man, that is kicking. What is that, bro? I'm like, what you talking about? He's like, your, your cologne. I'm like, I was kind of, I was about to get upset. Yo, I'm with colognes, dog. I was about to go there, but I, I held back, I pulled back and locked it down and kept it civil. I was like, nah, man, it's called Zanzibar. I said, but you can't find this in the department store. Well, say that again. It said Zanzibar by Giedron. Zanzibar by Giedron, okay. I said, call me with the money, cut about $300 a bottle, cuz. You know what I mean? So, oh man, yeah, you know, I, need, I need to be like you. No, you don't. You need to go ahead and buy you some Zeers off, some of that Zander, because you ain't getting none of mine. Power. But I had to let him know. Fiance, tell me something. Where you going to tell him how much it costs? Where you going to tell him how much Because they need to know how much it costs. Because you don't play around with this juice. You got to give it respect. You got to let them know. If you want to get into this game, if you want to be like me, as you said, then you're going to have to spend some money. You're going to get in this game right here. You want to get in this jizz off game? Y'all know what it is. Y'all frag heads know what it is. And those of y'all coming up like I used to come up out of the Cologne game into this, you'll know what this is in a few too. Now, it may not be your 15th purchase. It may not be your 20th purchase. But this got to be within your top 30 of purchases. Save up for it and get it, all right? See if you can find it for a good deal. Maybe somebody on a... Because a lot of people can't take this. So you might find it on eBay somewhere. I doubt if you find it on uh, Amazon. It's probably not going to happen. Okay? For a good price, I'm talking about. I'm talking about retail. 
Alright? So that's it. Top 15 juice. Bam! Here we go. Had to get Batito Ali again. Another hit. Now see, here's the thing about Batito Ali. Where me and Batito Ali don't get along is, first of all, the African orange flower in the beginning of this is very nice. It's nice and sweet. The beginning of this is beautiful. Now, people say they smell the African orange flower, the myrrh and the vanilla, then on the back end, it really is a linear, it's supposed, it says it's a linear fragrance, okay? African orange flower, vanilla, myrrh, coconut, and cacao. It is beautiful when it starts off. I'm telling you, when you first spray this on your skin, it's like, I mean, I could put this up to my nose all day and just leave it there. It's, it's a beautiful scent. And that's why I bought it. My man RZ sent me a whole bunch of samples, including some of this from, and I called up, I called up maybe three days later. I called up Josie and, uh, and Oswald in New York. I was like, yo, I need to have this. I said, when he smelled the little vial of it that, that uh, RZ sent me, but well, man, I gotta have this. So I got it, and I'm like, yeah, you know, and I did an open, I never did a review of this. I never did a review. Now I'm down to about 60% of this. Right over top of the pro. I never did a review on this. I did an open, I opened the box. That's all I did. And I talked about it, but I never did a review on this. Here's the review. Beautiful in the beginning, but when it starts to dry down, the myrrh kicks in, it's just too much myrrh. I don't know what that ding was. What's that ding? Okay. Too much merit. Oh, somebody hit me up. Oh, my man. What What do you want? What you want, Narada? I'm busy doing a review. I'm busy doing a review. LOL. Okay, back to y'all. But Tito Ali, once again, I'm telling you, it's, it's, a, it's a ham. Now, if you get if you can get past that myrrh on the dry down, which is what it's about, the myrrh on the dry down is where is where what you got to deal with. And for me, I just have a problem dealing with the myrrh on the dry down because it dries down so hard that it almost smells like it's just dirt. I mean, like the myrrh, like the myrrh is now. You know, there's, there's different types of myrrh. Like I have incense that are myrrh. And I can't imagine rubbing an incense on my skin and smelling it because that's exactly what this will smell like. So if you're a myrrh fan, if you're a fan of myrrh, and you're not talking about the sweet myrrh, I'm not talking about the incense dip myrrh, but pure myrrh, then this would be good for you if you like myrrh. But if you need something to go with the myrrh on the dry down, myrrh leaves everything behind on the dry down. Even the African orange flower leaves it behind. Your dry down will be myrrh. What I would say is, get the four to five hours out of this before it gets down to the myrrh dry down, and then once it gets out, then scrub it off. Now that you like myrrh, go through the, go out at night, go out on a date with this, whatever you're gonna do, take your wife out, take your girl out, date, ba 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 ba. Don't don't go play a pool with this or hanging out at a bar. Ain't nobody gonna appreciate this. You gotta go. This is intimate juice. This is intimate juice. Where for the four or five hours that's gonna be pounding, kicking off, ba da ba da, how's your boy? Around after the fifth hour, that merch start kicking in and taking over the whole composition. Start the scrub. Go take a shower. Two hundred and forty dollars a bottle from Oswald. Mainly, you can get this uh, in New York. Josie and a couple other people that I met. It's been a long time since I purchased fragrances, so I've been out of the loop with buying fragrances. Cause you guys know I've been doing a fashion thing a little bit. And whatever else I do. So, uh, yeah. It's a get for four to five hours. It lasts forever now. This will last forever. I'm not saying it just lasts four or five hours. I'm saying it probably lasts a good eight, nine hours. But after your fifth hour, it's going to be mostly myrrh. Okay? The job goes for about a good six hours strong. Then dies off real quick. And all you left with is this sweet really sweet vanilla I can't say I really smell the um the tonka because it's sometimes tonka vanilla smells the same to me but I do smell the cedar so at the end of just Zanzibar in the job I smell cedar and tonka bean and vanilla or cedar and vanilla whatever everything else is gone everything else is gone 
beautiful dry down for the end. Cause my man was like, yo, and that was before I sprayed this for y'all for this review, all right? So two fragrances, both are good fragrances, but both have their drawback. For me, Najaf in the beginning, the oud is kind of strong. Once again, just one pop, little light pops. Don't go strong with this and wear it in the winter. Do not wear this in the summertime like I did the first time. And again, I think also this is more or less like a winter fragrance. I wouldn't wear this in the summertime because the air, the myrrh would just be too crazy in the heat. All right, so I would go with this more in the winter, spring. I wouldn't deal with uh, Batito D'Ali in the summertime. Again, $240 a bottle. You can get it from Oswald, Perfume Aroma, Refill Cap. You can screw this off. You see the stem comes out. You can refill it with refills, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how you refill this. I mean, it's like I haven't seen any refills for this, like Killian or some other fragrances. So, But you can't take the cap off if you want to share, maybe, okay? has a lovely box, too. And can't take this top off. This is the Ooh Stars line. Beautiful bottle. Check it out, all right? So those are reviews for the fragrances. Um... Oh, let me tell you what happened the other day, too. Because <laughs> the other day I wore a Memoir Man. A lot of people can't deal with the Mint and Memoir Man. With the Absinthe, I deal with it. It is perfect. I decided I was going to... I, was, I, was, I had to be at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'd be working 5. I put on Imperial Tea by, by Killian. I tried to deal with it. I tried to deal with this crazy Jasmine and... T note that was going on, and I was I was trying to put up with it, man, man. Before I went to work, I had to scrub it, try to scrub it off, and then I went and got some memoir, man, and sprayed over top of it. That may not be a bad layer. A light spray of Imperial Tea, just a light spray if you have it. A light spray of Imperial Tea, and then put some memoir, man, over top of it. It might work for you. That's the only way Imperial Tea is working for me. I, I don't know what the deal was with Imperial Tea. I mean, I know it's not unisex. It's classified as a unisex fragrance. Imperial Tea is not a unisex fragrance. Not with Jasmine. Dudes, no dude wouldn't wear Jasmine. Are you serious? Come on, dog. Stop playing. Come on, Killian. Stop playing, man. You Don't start getting too cute. See, now he getting too cute. Because people are starting to bust on his juice. You know what I'm saying? Starting to bust on his juice. So he better get with it and start getting serious about this juice. Because... You know, people out here, they they, they 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 own your neck for that price at two thirty five. Like I said, a good thing about Killing has going on for it, going for him, is he had the refill bottles, and he has the different variations of how you can get to travel sprays and stuff like that. He got that going for him because you don't have to spend that whole kit and caboodle for the presentation. But when it comes to your juice, come on, man, get with it. Snap up, cuz snap up and step up. Let's get it busy. Let's keep it popping, man. I got a big display of my Killian stuff. It's my biggest display I have in my cage. I mean, besides Jeardroff, Suspiro, and that, that that collection. Don't let me down by Killian. Come on out with some, some flavorful juice, man. Stay on point. Stay in pocket. All right? All right, now we're going to do... Um, I did the Seiko 5 for y'all. I did the Seiko 5 watch for y'all, all right? That's out, right? That's taken care of. Seiko 5 watch taken care of. And I picked this up uh, off Amazon, Automatic. The thing I don't like about, uh, let me talk about what I don't like about Seiko 5 and some of Seiko watches, including that Seiko watch I had bought, that new line they put out. What was it called? I forgot the name of the new line. I took it back. long as you keep a Seiko on a watch winder, you're good to go. Once you take it off the watch winder, it's a wrap. It has no power reserve whatsoever. There is no power reserve I, you can't wind it. I called them. I was like, well, if I wind it, she was like, there is no wind. And I figured it wasn't because I'm winding, winding for days. And they say no tension. Nothing was going on with it. I'm trying to tell you. So that new line, forget it. And the Seiko 5 too. If, like, if my watch winder stops for, I think, 90 minutes. Too long for this. There is no power reserve. Now, I'm, I wouldn't pick this up. It was three hours behind all the other watches. So that 90 minute break, put this behind almost three hours on the catch up. All right, it's automatic, it's a Seiko. Now it's not a Grand Seiko, and it's not a SAR. Those watches are different. This is a Seiko 5, which I thought was a step above because it's automatic. It's a step above your regular Seikos in, 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 in quality, and I'm sure it is, because it's not a quartz. 
But you know, you have some Seiko courses that cost five, six hundred dollars due to the intricacies of the holla at your boy. But when it comes to automatics, Seikos, the ones that I had, if if they're not a watch winding, it's continuous watch winding. If it stops from time to time, like mine does, it stop ninety minutes. Blah, blah, blah. If it's up for a whole day, it'll be three, third, it'll be three hours behind. But I haven't worn this in a while, so it probably was three hours behind because I haven't worn this in a while. I right, just put on the watch winder yesterday. All right, now let's move on to a little bit of fashion. Uh, something I picked up today. Y'all know I already had a coach bag. Today I picked up a Wilson bag. It's a Wilson bag. I just put some Yamin on it. And y'all know Wilson's one of the best leather companies out. In fact, um, I wasn't sure whether Wilson even had a leather company. And my fiance looked it up and said, yeah, they still have a, a store or two open. And I went to, uh, y'all know why I went and got this. Y'all know why I went. I went to pick up some jeans for my nephew. You know what I mean? I'm addicted to thrift stores, man. And I'm not the only one. I mean, man, it was so many people. This is another thrift store. This is a different thrift store I went to today. It's two of them on the same, same name, New Life Thrift. But, uh, man, look. Thrift stores, everybody up in thrift stores. Maybe it's just me just catching up. Thrift store, man. When I went to the other thrift store the other day, yesterday, and picked up this other piece I'm ready to show you, it, the parking lot was packed. Parking lot was packed, man. You know, I'm talking about dudes coming in there dressed like me with ties and everything on, man. Look here. Ain't nobody tripping, cuz. And like I said, it, that came from me on the gentleman's lounge one day. I, I'll talk about the bag while we're doing it. I was on the gentleman's lounge one day and a young man, um, very soft leather, very like, like glove leather. Uh, young man was on there. I got scratched a little bit. I don't know why I did scratch. The young man was on there. He said he had just bought a suit from the thrift store. And the suit looked good. I think it was a Ralph Lauren suit or something. He said he only paid like $5. So I was like, are you serious? I said, well, let me check out some thrift stores. And just so happened, I was on my way out to Willow Grove here in, in, in PA. And they had the New Life Thrift Store. And I saw, I'm like, let me stop in here and check it out. Man, I've been hooked ever since, y'all. Been hooked ever since. As y'all well know, like I said, I picked up a coach bag about a couple weeks ago. Did that thing up, hooked it up. I use a Meguiar's. Uh, I wouldn't. Man, I don't feel like going to get it right now. Next time I do a review, I'll bring it out. Just it'll probably be off topic because I don't know if I'll be polishing another bag up. But Meguiar's for your car is what I use on both the Coach bag and this Wilson bag. So I had cleaner, you know what I mean, for my seats. Cause you know nothing best, nothing but the best for my Beamer. And I also had the uh, conditioning cream. So that's what I use for the Coach bag and this bag. And uh, yeah, man. Nice, nice luscious brown. You know what I mean, strap. Put it around on you right there, and let them know. Now it's really a laptop bag. You put your laptop in here, whatever, whatever your business, business files, book, whatever. It's dual straps. You can see handle, shoulder strap, four compartments inside, two, two mini pouches. And like I said, this comes off here. Snipper snappers. You know the accordion snappers, I guess you would call them. So you have straps here. They're straps, but you have these too. And you just pop them, pop them right in the slot there. See right there? Pop them right in there like that. They go click. Like that. Click. Click. I said click. Alright, got it? Pat out. Yo man, I'm just noticing that you got you can never have enough bags, man. You gotta have these bags, man. You might be going to a business meet, you gotta have your laptop, you gotta have your paperwork in your drawer. You gotta go proper, man. You gotta go correct, man. Get your bag. Wilson, another bag. I saw these on eBay for about the same price I paid at the uh, thrift store, which is $35. All leather. Wilson. Made by Wilson. And if those of you know about Wilson leather, Wilson bag. Uh, I saw some on eBay, like I said, anywhere from $35 to $50, but I didn't pay the shipping. And I had to go through the whole thing about waiting for it to get here. Thrift store. And like I said, little scratches here and there. I like this bottom because it's not a leather bottom. It's a fabric bottom. So, you know what I mean? When you sit it down, you ain't got to worry about scratching up your leather. All right? When you soft leather, I'm telling you. So, 
So I coach bag, now I have my Wilson leather bag in different colors. And last but not least, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm ready to chill. We picked up this coat yesterday. This is a Bot Rock. Now this right here is not really shearing. It looks like shearing, but it's not shearing. But the whole coat inside is covered with this material. Now let's see, I don't think it's shearing. In fact, let's see what it is. I don't even think it's shearing though, for real, for real. But the coat itself is leather. So it's like a well, suede. Suede leather, you can see. Suede. Suede by Bach Rock. And I looked this up as well. And there's somebody on eBay right now uh, has this up for sale for $129. And uh, it says clean by professional only. The lining, uh, genuine leather. And the lining is 80% acrylic and 20% polyester. So that's what this is. But it has that shearing look. It has that Andrew Mark shearing look. You know what I mean? Because he's, he's good for nice shearings as well as the fur. I mean, I was really trying to get that fur coat, man, but I ended up not getting it because I had to be responsible money-wise. So maybe another day I'll pick up that uh, uh, Andrew Mark uh, rabbit fur leather, man. That thing, is, that thing was butter, though. Straight butter, but I ain't pick it up. So we got a Bach Rock coat. Oh, how much did it cost me? You want to know how much this cost me? Well, if I had waited till Monday to get this, which I'm sure it just came in, just this bag just came in today. If I waited till Monday to get it, I would have gotten an additional 10% off. So that means it would have went from $21 to $19. $21. Not a scratch on it. $21. I saw man. I I put something on Facebook this morning about um I had told some other I just I told everybody about you know about the the, the, the store and a lot of people were like where's that where's that and I went on here and told them you know what I mean and then I put up some pictures of some stuff that was in there do you know I went back to that bad boy and three of the things that I went back to check out wasn't even there anymore wasn't even there anymore. Two furs and a bag were gone. Gone. One was a pullover shawl type fur. I think it was like a buck twenty-five. If they had bought it that Monday, it probably would have cost them like maybe ninety bucks. It was already thirty percent off to one twenty-five. And then the other one was a longer black, black uh, fur. I think that was only like ninety-five dollars or something like that. And then the uh, the uh, the Mishda Bakaraka bag, whatever that was, Mishka bag that was like 50 10 percent off that we got there for 45 bucks with tax all that was gone and nobody said thank you see that's how folks are right that, you put them down with some and say oh right thanks for that tip i went and grabbed that because i know it because how's it how i put it up on facebook and two days later ain't nothing there because what nobody even looking at it. it was there for about a week before i even put it up and then I decided, well, I'm, maybe I'll grab this for the missus. You know what I mean? I wasn't sure. I was trying to, you know, hold up a you know. But it's gone anyway. It's gone. Somebody came and got it. And it was one of y'all. One of y'all came and got it. One of you did. But it's all good. It's cool. There's more stuff. Like my leather Wilson bag or Bach Rock coat. You never know. I'm not hard to boy. Roger Rosie Cool about to be out. I saw some other stuff. Yeah, I saw some jeans. I want to go back and get maybe tomorrow on my lunch break. But until then, I got to go. You got it. But Tito Ali, four to five hours, get ready to scrub. Unless you like Mer. The job Zanzibar, first spray, get past the Oud. Once you get past the Oud, get ready for loveliness. Yes, indeed. And I'm out. I got to go. You've been listening to the Real Deep Cool CD. My release from last year, well not 2014 last year, but 2013. So check that out, go online, check it out. CD Baby, just type in Roger Real Deep Cool. Just Google Roger Real Deep Cool, you'll get to everything. There's, there's five, last time I counted there were seven pages of Roger Real Deep Cool stuff. So I'm sure you'll find the CD, you'll find the downloads. Thank you for your support. 
Believe me, I appreciate you. And no doubt about it. And look here. Y'all know I, I talk about other things. I talked about that France situation. I talked about the white Jesus situation this morning. I talk about a lot of things. I'm not here to offend anybody. Like I said, I'm just here to speak what's on my mind because I think some things need to be said. And I like to say the things that people don't want to say. Because some people are so afraid that people are going to stop liking them. People are not going to feel the same way about them. But if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for everything. So, and that's one of my point is you can't keep falling for everything just because you want to stand for things because other people do. You have to step out the box. You have to be your own person. You're here to make a mark on this planet, not to be a part of the planet all the time, okay? So pick the way you want to go and go that way. If you just want to flow with the crowd, then flow with the crowd. But if you want to make a difference, then make a difference. That's why I'm here. I found my thing is to make a difference. Thanks to YouTube, thanks to the Fragrance Review, thanks to all these things that brought me to YouTube. Yes, indeed. Uh, There's an open forum. You can get with me like you've been getting with me. Anything controversial? Don't, don't be scared to comment. Because if you're scared to comment on something, then that means you're part of the status quo. We don't want to be part of the status quo. You want to step from the status quo. You want to make a difference. And will it put your life on the line? Well, your life on the line every day. So don't make a difference. No matter what you do, whether you're at work, a dangerous job, or whatever, you never know what's going to happen to you. If you're going to leave here, leave here standing for something. Don't leave here just being an ordinary ter- person and not leaving a legacy or a mark here on the planet. You don't want to leave here people calling you a drunk. You don't want to leave here people calling you broke. You want to leave here with people saying you had something to say. You had something to contribute besides kids. Because kids are going to do what they're going to do because your kids may end up being jailbirds. But your kids may end up being successful. But it doesn't have anything to do with you because you're not going to claim them when they go to jail. But you want to claim them when they do well. But that's not what it's about because they had to come from you. Take care of yourself first and all that's take care of yourself. So what you show your kids, what you show people in your family, how you step apart and step away from things, show them different parts of living. In fact, I am happy to announce that my nephew is now going vegetarian. My niece is already doing vegetarian. And I never had to tell her to do vegetarian. She's doing it on her own. She's only 14 years old. And she's a vegetarian already. Now, my older nephew, who's 24, he's starting to become a vegetarian. So I'm proud of them. I applaud the Holloman family for getting with it. And then my sister's trying to jump on the bandwagon. She's she's getting her little neutral bullet thing together. So she's coming aboard too. So, you know, us as a family trying to live healthier, live the right kind of life, trying to do the best we can. We, hey, live, try hard, die trying. Do what you got to do. Make a mark. Step away from the foolishness. Keep away from other people who are doing the same old thing. And make your own mark on the planet, all right? How's your boy? Ride the real deep cool. Keep it heavenly. I got the bounce. How about your boy? Bars. For stars. Off the top of the dome. Let me hit this button.